Here we have a 37 degree incline and a, a 10 kilogram box at the top of the incline. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the box and the incline surface is 0.1. The box is released from rest and it slides 2 meters down the incline. We want to find the work done by each force on the box and the work done by the net force. And then we want to find the box's speed the moment it reaches the bottom of the incline. So we want to find the work done by each force on the box. There's the non-contact force Mg. And there is the contact force from the incline surface. The contact surface can give us a normal force and uh, friction. The box is not touching anything else, so this is it. The work done by mg will be the weight mg 100 straight down times the displacement 2 meters along the incline. And uh, we want the angle between these two. So if I draw it over here, the mg goes down, the displacement goes down that way, and I want the angle between those two. I can make a right triangle over here. If this angle is 37 degrees, that means that one is 90 degrees minus 37 degrees, which gives us 53 degrees, and this gives us 120 joules. Now again, we can do the parallel component times d times the cosine, the angle between those two. The mg goes down and uh, the parallel component along the incline, the component that, that's parallel to the displacement is the mg sine theta. So we can do the parallel component is the mg sine theta. And that goes down the incline. The displacement is 2 also down the incline and that's uh, 0 degrees between the two. So the mg sine theta will be 100 times the sine 37 degrees and when, when you carry out this calculation of course you're going to get the same 120 joules. Now for the work done by the normal force, because the normal force is always perpendicular to the incline, so if the displacement is along the incline, that means uh, the angle here is going to be 90 degrees, and cosine 90 degrees is zero. So that's it. The work done by friction, it will be friction times the displacement times cosine the angle between the two. The box slides down the incline, so the friction is against the sliding motion, goes up the incline, the displacement goes down, so we have cosine 180. Now, of course, we have to find the amount of friction. The friction is uh, 0.1, the mu k times the normal force. For this box on the incline, the normal force is the mg cosine theta. Because uh, if you remember for the mg, let's see. Yeah, if I want to find the components of the mg along the incline and perpendicular to the incline, I would make a rectangle like this. If that angle is 37 degrees, then this one is uh, 37 degrees, the angle right there. Because uh, this one, 53, that one is 53, so this one is 37. That means uh, the component that goes perpendicular to the incline, this one here, is adjacent to the angle. That's why it's the mg cosine theta. So that's mg cosine theta, which gets canceled by the normal force. So the normal force for this box on the incline equals to the mg cosine theta because it cancels with the mg's component perpendicular to the incline. The component of the mg going down the incline is the mg sine theta. The one that cancels with the normal force is the mg cosine theta. Okay, so that's the friction. The displacement is 2 meters down the incline. Friction goes up the incline. Oh, we already found that. So it's cosine 180, which is uh, 
negative 1. So if you plug in the mg that is 100, we're going to get the negative 16 joules. That means uh, the work done by the net force would equal to the work done by all of the forces. So these three numbers added together. 120 plus 0 plus negative 16, which gives us uh, 104. In part B, we want to find the, the speed of the box when it reaches the bottom of the incline. So we have to try to relate this to the speed so we can use the work energy theorem. This work done by the net force equals to the change in kinetic energy of the box, which is the final minus the initial. The box is released from rest. The initial kinetic energy is zero. So the final kinetic energy equals to 104, and the final kinetic energy is 1 half m, 10 kilograms, times the final velocity squared. So 104 equals to that. And you'll be able to find the final speed at the bottom of the incline to be 4.56 meters per second.